This Halloween I was inspired to use natural materials to create my look so I really like the idea of doing something like a woodland nymph and using organic materials like these beautiful dried thorns to create a kind of spiky brow and around the outer corner of Echo's eyes to create some really beautiful spiky lashes. So first of all, I blocked out Echo's brows and I have tutorials on how to do brow blocking. When you've blocked your brows, just make sure that you've really powdered them well because you're gonna be gluing things in the brow area and you wanna make sure that that's all nice and dry. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be working on Echo's eye makeup. So I'm gonna take a brown water liner. I'm actually using an Inglot liner and I'm gonna line her waterline like this, nice and thick. So that will transfer onto her top waterline and create a really nice kind of dense eyeliner. So put it on nice and thick on that waterline. Blink a couple of times. And I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna pop it along the waterline there. With a soft clean brush, I'm gonna just blend that line out like that. And I want to start sort of dragging it upwards. I'm just lifting her eye up like that so that I get a nice non-creased eyelid to work on. So that's your base. Now it can be a little bit messy, it's fine because you're going to go back over it with lots of kind of brown and taupey shimmers. So I'm going to be working with the Industrial 2.0 palette and I'm going to begin with these two uh, colours here. One is this kind of very deep silver and then this is this nice dark brown. So I'm going to just load up my brush with the silver like this and I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner of Echo's eyes here and I think the contrast of that silveriness with that cold brown always looks really nice so we'll start with a, a nice load of silver in the eye there and I'm gonna drag it out under into the waterline and now I'm gonna take that same color with my finger and I don't have long nails for a little bit and if you use your finger you'll actually get a lot more product onto the eye which is really nice so while I wipe that across her eye I'm just watching to make sure that I don't go too far across and I still keep some of that base present because I'm gonna now put this deeper brown in and that'll like blend them all nicely together that sort of dark base helps to blend out from that light silver into the other brown color so now I'm gonna work with this dark kind of chocolatey purpley brown and I'm going to start blending from the outwards in like this. I'm just going to start tapering that outer corner upwards so you get a really nice lift in the brown and now I'm just going to take that brown I'm just going to wash it underneath like that. So you now have a really beautiful smooth transition from that silver into that brown and you get that nice depth at the base of the lashes because you added that liner at the very beginning. So just to add a bit more depth to the eye, I'm gonna take the Wild Star Mascara because it kind of gives you those really nice, thick, chunky lashes and I'm gonna whack a load of that on just to give a really nice, dense, dark and thick lash. So now I'm gonna blend the eye area up into the brow before I start to glue on the thorns. And I'm gonna just work with the Wild Star palette because it's got these nice taupes in it. I'm just using the taupey and that kind of nice bronzy color just to blend upwards there and there. And then I'm gonna take this really light color at the top and I'm just gonna pop that into the brow there. So you get a nice transition. So that's quite a nice eye makeup look just on its own, but I'm gonna now add the thorns. So to do that, I'm gonna begin by drawing very, very faintly a brow line, which will help you when you're coming to stick your thorns down to keep the thorns in the right place, because that's part of what makes this look really nice as a kind of symmetricalness. So I'm gonna take this taupe from the Wild Star because it's nice and light, and I'm just gonna really, just lightly, you don't really, you almost don't wanna see it, but. You do want to see it, but you almost don't want to see it. And I'm going to just start by marking out a line like this. And that's going to be the line that I'm going to follow. 
the easiest way to do this is to just put glue all over the brows. Don't bother individually sticking down the thorns. It's too complicated and too messy. Just put a load of glue on, let it set, and then you can just carefully pin your thorns wherever you want to. So I'm gonna take this prosade, it's a Cryolan prosade. I'm gonna take a Q-tip. And I'm just gonna paint that in that line over the brow. Make it, you know, a little bit wide so that you have enough surface area for the, the thorns to sort of nicely sit on. And then you just want to wait till that kind of goes tacky, which means it'll have gone transparent. And that's kind of when you can start to begin the work. I just have to wait for a minute. Make awkward small talk. So. <laughs> oh, this is actually probably a very good time to just tidy up. So I might just do that. So now you're going to take your little thorns. Um, and I also love buying sort of random little new materials and making looks for them and I feel like this is a really fun one because you can get these little thorns off Etsy and there's all sorts of weird things on Etsy to kind of be inspired by but I bought these on Etsy and I'm going to start with the biggest and I'm going to work my way around to the smallest so this is the biggest and I'm going to just position it at a slight angle on Echo's face almost in a kind of complementary line to her nose angle like that and then I'm going to place a second one next to it again in an angle and as I work my way round her face I'm going to start to just shift that angle like a an eyebrow sort of would so you get that nice curve. I'm leaving maybe like a couple of mil between each one sort of slowly twisting them round so they're starting to become more and more horizontal. Tash, is there a pair of tweezers handy? Mm -hmm. Let's use them. That old fingers. Homer Simpson. <laughs> so now that you've done one side, what I would suggest is you perhaps just go round with the tiniest bit of glue at the top of each thorn just to make sure that they're stuck on properly. So just pop a little bit on a Q-tip and just add a little drop of glue just to be safe. If you have any of these left over, you can also add a few just on the outer corners of the eyes. So I'm gonna just pop a few on there. Hey, what is this that we haven't really named it? No. We just got inspired by the thorns. Well, you're quite, probably quite good at naming things, so you can have a look at the end and decide. <laughs> <laughs> A stick it doesn't bug. have the right, the same ring to it, does it? So I'm going to be using the Buck lip liner and lipstick from the Wild Star collection for the lips because. Of course, the Buck lip liner is very dark and just again matches this. So for this lip shape, I'm going to keep it really nice and sharp. So I'm going to go up to the top of Echo's lip, like this, to the top of the Cupid's bow, and I'm going to create a really nice sharp point. I'll we'll just do quite a classic lower lip. So when you've drawn that shape, you can then fill it in using the lipstick. and take that lipstick right up to the edge of that lip liner and blend it all across. And if you want to get really precise, I'm just using a very flat tip brush there just to help sharpen that lip line up. Like that. So now you've got that nice sharp lip with that beautiful kind of golden brown duochrome. I love the sharpness because I just think it goes really well with that spiky eye look. I'm just going to add a little bit of warmth and contour into Echo's cheeks now. So I'm just going to buff that out, add a little bit of a nice kind of tonalness into the skin. Just to finish off this look, I'm going to use a little bit of skin lac. Fuck, it's dripping everywhere. And I'm just gonna pop it onto all of the nice high points of Echo's face, just so you have that beautiful kind of pearlescent, shimmery finish. I don't know if you can, yeah. 
Yeah, that's super sick. And we're gonna make your hair a bit more spiky. Mm -hmm. Actually, Maybe can we? I don't know why this suddenly just started feeling so toddlers and tiaras to me. Like when the mom is like shoving um, pins into like the like two year old hair and just, like, it's very ah. toddlers and tiaras. Yeah. Claire's gonna kill me, isn't she? And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Stay in your lane, bitch. So that is my interpretation of a woodland nymph. I love the idea of using organic materials on the face, especially for Halloween. It just looks really, really beautiful having all of those natural colours and shapes and elements to play with. And I paired them with some of the tonal colours from the Industrial 2.0 palette and then we have the Wild Star on the lip to complement the rest of the face.